Welcome to my channel, Brainies. Today we are going to discuss about the topic brachial plexus. The brachial plexus is a group of nerves which supplies the upper limb. It sends signals from the spinal cord to the shoulder, arm, forearm, and and the entire upper extremity. It consists of root, trunk, division, cord, and branches. The roots. These these are constituted by the anterior primary rami of spinal nerves C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1, with the contributions from C4 and T2. The origin of the plexus may shift either one segment upward, resulting in prefixed plexus, or it can shift one segment downward, resulting in postfixed plexus. What is prefixed plexus? The contribution by C4 will be larger and that from T2 will be absent. In postfix plexus, the contribution by T1 will be large, T2 will also be present, C4 will be absent and C5 will be reduced in size comparatively. So this is a picture depicting the entire brachial plexus. I'll come back to this picture a little later. Meanwhile, I'll show you a little flow chart to study in an easier way. So this is a flow chart depicting the brachial plexus. So these are the roots C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. The C5 and C6 together joins to form the upper trunk. C7 alone forms the middle trunk and C8 and T1 together forms the lower trunk. The trunk once again divides into two divisions. Each of the trunk divides into anterior division and posterior division. That is the other way we say it is ventral and dorsal division. So the anterior division of the upper trunk and the anterior division of the middle trunk together joins to form the cord which is so called lateral cord. And the anterior division of the lower trunk alone forms the medial cord. The remnants, the posterior division of all the three trunks together forms the posterior cord. So, once again, these cords divides into branches. As I said earlier, you have the roots C5, C6, C7, C8, T1, the trunk, upper trunk, middle trunk, and lower trunk, the division, anterior, posterior division of each of the trunk. Then comes the cord, lateral cord, medial cord, and posterior cord, and then continues as branches. I'll show the branches in the other diagram. So, this is the picture. So these are the roots C5, C6, C7, C8, T1. So as I said, C5 and C6 together forms upper trunk. C7 is the middle trunk. And C8 and T1 together forms the lower trunk. So the anterior division of the upper trunk and the anterior division of the middle trunk together forms the lateral cord. The anterior division of the lower trunk alone forms the medial cord. And the posterior division of the upper trunk, middle trunk, and the lower trunk together forms the posterior cord. Let us just see the branches. So, the branches of the lateral cord. It has got three branches. That is, you could see it in this diagram. This lateral cord has got three branches. So, it consists of lateral pectoral nerve, musculocutaneous nerve, and lateral root of medial nerve. Let me teach you a small mnemonic to remember the branches. I'll teach it a little later. Meanwhile, we'll see the nerve supply. The lateral pectoral nerve supplies the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. The musculocutaneous nerve supplies biceps, brachialis and coracobrachialis. The lateral root of medial nerve, it joins the medial root of medial nerve to continue as medial nerve. Then the branches of medial cord. It consists of medial pectoral nerve, medial root of medial nerve, medial cutaneous nerve of arm, medial cutaneous nerve of forearm, and the ulnar nerve. The medial pectoral nerve supplies the pectoralis major and minor. To note, the lateral pectoral nerve also supplies the same. The medial root of medial nerve, it joins the lateral root of medial nerve to continue as medial nerve. The medial cutaneous nerve of arm, it carries the sensory impulses on the smaller portion of the medial side of the arm. The medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. 
It carries the sensory impulse on the larger proportion of the medial side of the forearm. The ulnar nerve, it supplies flexor carpi ulnaris, medial half of flexor digitorum profundus. These are the muscles of the forearm. And then comes the hypothena muscles and the thena muscles. Thena muscles, which includes the deep head of flexor pollicis brevis, adductor pollicis, and the third and fourth lumbricals, and the palmar and dorsal implosiae. Next is the branches of the posterior cord, which consists of five branches. It is upper subscapular nerve, lower subscapular nerve, thoracodorsal nerve, radial nerve, and axillary nerve. The upper subscapular nerve supplies subscapularis. The lower subscapular nerve supplies teres major. Thoracodorsal nerve supplies lactismus dorsi. Radial nerve supplies the muscles of the back of the forearm, that is the extensor compartment of forearm. Axillary nerve supplies the teres minor and deltoid. So these are the branches of lateral cord, medial cord and posterior cord. Let us just see the mnemonics for all these things. The first one is the lateral cord. So it is, the branches are L, M, L. So we can make the mnemonic as love my life. Love my life. The mnemonic for the medial cord, if you just see it, all the branches arises. The first letter is M. So it is 4M and 1U. We can put the mnemonic as mu4. Mu is the maximal M. So to pronounce it, it may be easier for us to remember it as mu4. The last but not least, it is the mnemonic for the posterior cord. These are the five branches. So we make it as ultra, U-L-T-R-A, ultra. So you can just remember the chords in an easier way using these mnemonics. Let us just see the branches from the roots. So if you just see the branches, directly certain branches arises from the root itself. As such, if you just see it, the branches arises, one branch arises directly from C5 and the other branch arises from C5, C6 and C7. So the branch arising from C5 is dorsal scapular nerve or nerve to rhomboids, which arises from C5. And the next is the root, the branch arising from the root of C5, C6, C7 is long thoracic nerve of bell or it is also known as nerve to serratus anterior. These two branches arises directly from the roots. The next is the branches from the trunk. That is, we have the upper trunk, middle trunk and lower trunk. Out of this, two branches arises directly from the upper trunk at this junction. The branches are, it is suprascapular nerve and nerve to subclavius. The suprascapular nerve supplies the supraspinatus and infraspinatus. The nerve to subclavius supplies the subclavius. That's it with the brachial plexus. You can remember it in a very easier way using this video. Thank you for watching. Kindly support by subscribing and share. Thank you so much.